houses collapse and many people are hungry in the disaster, who cares for them? You can see the gas tank over there, and then the pot here, which is so low to the ground, which is quite difficult. On this side of the road, these tents are set up to keep away the sun and help those who are cooking. After the earthquake, Ziji set up 30 large-scale cooking spots in the disaster area. Within a week, it supplied 1.3 million hot meals. The youngest township chief in Taiwan, Chen Jihong, is only 34 years old. At the time of the 921 earthquake, he was just a middle school student. I forgot how many days it took, but it was quite soon when Ziji volunteers came into town to cook vegetarian food to feed the victims. Unable to bear the suffering of victims, volunteers felt exhausted but continued to grit their teeth. Moreover, the environment in the disaster area is bad and personal safety is often forgotten about. Visiting the disaster-stricken areas everywhere is chaos as Master Zheng Yin tours with her disciples. An inspiration arises in her. Master Zheng Yin hopes to improve the hot food supplies in the disaster area and other daily life needs. Master Zheng Yin hopes we can do more systematic planning. Eating and keeping warm is the basis of personal safety. In a moment of panic, hopefully some can be thoughtful and think of others. It was Zhiji who registered every household and asked what they needed, like blankets. Zhiji was later able to do a distribution that morning. I was surprised at how fast they worked. Compassion is unchanged. We support all of the survivors, regardless of their religion, race, color, or language. Our compassion for our fellow people never changes. On the day of the 921 earthquake, Ziji immediately established the General Command Center for Disaster Relief in Hualien. At 3 o'clock in the morning, more than 30 contact centers have been established in Taiwan. Two days after the disaster, Master Zheng Yin arrived at the Taichung branch. The first rain after the disaster occurred while she was here. Staying in central Taiwan for nearly a month, Master Zheng Yin didn't simply travel to investigate the disaster area, but spent lots of time planning how Ziji could conduct disaster relief. The fear a person experiences when losing a home is indescribable. So we feel for them, and city volunteers are like bodhisattvas who can see when everyone is having trouble. What is their next reaction? Where are they at this point in life? How do they get over this loss of home to get a feeling of peace of mind? Peace of mind and body after the 921 quake had a huge impact on Ziji's global aid model. <laughs> In fact, Ziji's entire humanitarian assistance and disaster relief model has six stages, prevention, mitigation, and preparations. After the disaster, rescue work, midterm support, and long-term rehabilitation. From emergency response to disasters to prevention work, Ziji has been actively involved in this work for 20 years as we take a look back.
History allows us to look back on disasters, and we need to look forward to awaken everyone. Our devotion to nature should awaken everyone's future plans. From then on, you can see the compassion and altruism. Disasters are painful, but they also make people grow and also awaken mutual help and love during this period of disaster.